cancer is difficult to treat because really every patient's tumor is different. And I know that because I'm a genome scientist. I worked on the Human Genome Project, uh, mapping uh, and sequencing chromosomes and genes. And, and at some point, we had the technology to rapidly look at a lot of cancer genomes, and we saw that they're all different. They all have a lot of mutations, especially in people who smoke or exposed to ultraviolet light, I mean, like melanoma. You actually see uh, tens of thousands of mutations, abnormal things in the DNA, which are not in the normal cells of the individual. And, and, and the reason that's important is that some of those mutations drive the cancer. You actually have to treat only those patients with that mutation. Is is the start of personalized medicine, that not everybody's tumor is the same. Uh, and so we could tell it in the lab, but we didn't know how to address that before. I know you guys, uh, with your ADC technology, you actually always look at the tumor to see whether your protein of interest is expressed before you give a drug. And that's personalized medicine, and you develop a lot of tests to actually try to figure out up front whether things are, uh, uh, what is a tumor, what's driving the tumor, or, or how you can, you know, specifically target a tumor from a patient. Yeah, and I think the other factor, I absolutely agree with you, that genetics absolutely underlies cancer and makes it very heterogeneous, and there are a lot of different genetic mutations even within a single patient. Until 12 years ago, I think the field also thought all tumor cells were relatively equal in their appearance. Mm -hmm. Uh, and their potential, and this new cancer stem cell paradigm where not all cells are created equal, but in fact a small population are responsible for tumor growth and tumor recurrence, and the vast majority are bystanders, was not fully appreciated. And thus, shrinking tumors was equated with success traditionally in cancer therapy, and that didn't translate in most cases to improving survival. So I think the change that's happened, and hopefully which allows us to better understand tumors and develop better therapies, is to understand that heterogeneity, tailor therapies uh, to patients, and absolutely upon diagnosis, understand the genetics and the proteomics behind each person's tumor so we can pick the best targeted therapy for every patient. Mm -hmm.